there. Welcome back. We have been telling you about an amazing fox sanctuary in San Diego County, but they have other animals too. Yeah, Christina Pescucci is at a unique conservation center in San Isabel. Christina. You guys, look how big this wolf is. This is Lucan. He is beautiful. I'm trying to not make eye contact because there's all these behaviors that you are encouraged to do. He comes to you. He decides who he likes. Um, and this is Dave, the co-founder of the Conservation Center here, the Judith A. Bassett Canid Education and Conservation Center. Thank you for being with us. I know you'll have to keep your eyes on him and, and just monitor his behavior. He is beautiful. And tell us about, you know, like the different programs you have here for him healing and interaction and conservation. Right, well we like to heal both people by uh, interacting with these canids as well as teach them about you know their challenges in the wild. Um, obviously with wolves it's all about trying to teach people that wolves are not evil animals and they shouldn't be killed and unfortunately they are a lot in the wild. That's a really important point to bring out because it's happening a lot right now in places like Montana and so you guys actually have people who come here from all around the world mm -hmm. and see them firsthand. Yeah, and a lot of people, and it's just a cultural thing in, in certain areas, just think wolves are evil animals and they just need to be killed. And Lucan lets us, you know, the people know that they're not, they're, they're, they're majestic animals, they're, they're a lot of things, but they're not evil. And he helps us teach people about that. All of your animals here, you have foxes, you have coyotes, it's all about education. They're all rescue animals as well. What was his situation? Um, Lucan was born in captivity, and um, he actually was born with an underbite. And so because of that, he couldn't be part of a captive breeding situation. And so consequently, he needed a place to be. And uh, so we gave him his forever home here. Okay, we're going to bring in, oh, sweet. He's giving me a little lick of whatever he wants to do. He decides who he likes, and he'll growl maybe to let his voice be heard if he doesn't. But he's um, very well behaved overall. <laughs> Let's show you video of foxes they have here that they do these interactive programs with. Uh, they are... Domesticated red foxes, they are also rescues. This is the only nonprofit where people can have this experience with them. And, and you can even sponsor a fox. And the goal is to, you know, educate people. Okay, we're going to bring in one more type of dog. I think Roxanne is coming just to show you that. As we give you, this is a singer dog. And what is unique about the singer dogs Tell me really fast, Roxanne, these are living fossils. Yes, these guys are related to the Australian dingo. Back when uh, the, the continent of New Guinea and Australia were, were one landmass, these were related to the, uh, to the Australian dingoes. Then as the um, sea levels rose and New Guinea separated from Australia, they became, um, due to insular dwarfism, they shrank down to fit their environment. and. Um, I'm watching him because he wants the camera really yeah. bad. <laughs> so they actually have an extra vertebrae so they can climb trees? Exactly. These, 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 they, thank you. <laughs> these, these guys are, um, are, are adapted to hunt, um, not as a pack, but singularly. And um, so they climb trees to get to their prey, which is uh, the, the, the tree dwelling oh. marsupials and, uh, and birds that live in New oh, Guinea. They're so cute. Okay, let's show you the information on the screen right now. <laughs> this is the best assignment of the day, I gotta say, you guys. If you're interested in sponsoring a fox and helping them um, expand, they want to they want to be able to rescue more canids here. They're also looking for artists to help beautify the grounds. If you would like to donate your time to do that, you can look at the website there or find them on social media. And let's leave them with an image of the singing dogs. They sing a lot, <laughs> hence the name. <laughs> I'll send it back to you. Oh my gosh. Wow. You are brave. Let okay. me just say, you are, you are braver than we are, but that is a very cool experience and something to think about. Yeah. If, you know, I when, think kids would love it. When the fox was licking your hand, yeah. I just want you to know you handled that in a different way than um, <laughs> some of us would have. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. yep.